everybody. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Here we go. Here we go. In Maryland, a deaf lesbian couple purposely sought out a deaf sperm donor to assure that they would have a deaf baby. It's all part of a new experimental program called Queers Without Ears. <laughs> I'm sick of this, this feud between Letterman and Leno. Now, I'm a talk show host myself, and I just think it's a publicity stunt. And I, 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 I just, it's for ratings only. <sighs> Dear Carson, I will never talk poorly about you in public. We are different, but I have no beef toward you. You date models. I eat sandwiches. <laughs> Millions of people watch your show. 470 people watch my show. And 24 of those are my cousins. <laughs> Never see me as a threat, even though I do keep a picture of you taped above my ce on my ceiling above my bed and yell at your face, I'm going to get you, robot. I'm going to get you. <laughs> Jodie Foster movie, Panic Room, held on to the top spot at the movies for a second week. Which reminds me, you know, I haven't made out with a woman in over a year. And that's why I've started calling my bedroom the Panic Room. <laughs> Which is worse than the old name I had for it, The Fast and the Furious. Thanks, everybody. We have a real barn burner tonight. From the movie Frailty, actor and director Bill Paxton will be here. And one of my favorite bands, Eels, will play for us. Eels! You know, Eels' debut album was called Beautiful Freak. And that's weird because I recently went to see some of my more favorite beautiful freaks, Celebrity, in their natural habitat, a swanky cocktail party. We're here at the launch of Buzzine Magazine. I'm here to talk to some Hollywood types, if you will. I'm here with Charles. He was uh, at the party tonight, and I'm very attracted to him. You're a model. I'm a model. Have you ever worked with uh, L.L. Bean? No. No. I'm here with uh, Lori Holden. She was uh, in The Majestic with James Carey, Jim Carey. Jim Carey. How did you get your start in acting? You know, basically how most people start. I um, did low budget porn and, and... Oh! Yeah! You did that thing with that black guy and that midget. Oh, that was oh my great. God. That was much better than the Majestic. I oh. love this. You, you, you have interviews. You conduct interviews drinking red wine. My God. Your publicist is enjoying it, so it must be good. Oh, yeah. I saw your panties when you got up earlier. Oh, oh and they're beige, and they're very thin. You slut. They're not. They're gray with pink stripes. Well, something was beige. I'm here with uh, Lila Arcieri of uh, Son of the Beach, the uh, show produced by Howard Stern. Correct? Uh, how did you get the job, Lila? Walk us through that process. Let's see, uh, I had called all my friends. I asked them all to donate a couple dollars to my get a job fund. Mm -hmm. Some of them put in five bucks, you know, here and there, a dollar or two. And I sent it off to Howard with a letter. Can I please be on Son of the Beach? And it 
worked. You're kidding me. Yeah. You kid yes, you're kidding yes, me? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am kidding you, yes, you I am stupid kidding idiot. You. <laughs> I'm looking for a, like a high-profile celebrity girlfriend. Are you? Uh huh. Well, I'll have to get you my phone number later then. Really? Why don't you just do it now? A lot later. <laughs> <laughs> a lot later. <laughs> I'm here with uh, Nobody's Angel. Uh, hey, ladies, how are you? I'm uh, hanging out with uh, four girls that would never talk to me unless I had my own television. <laughs> Uh, you're, you're a singing group, right? Yes. Uh, where do you hail from? We hail from L.A., California. Do you mind singing a little tune? Sure. Yeah, sure. What are we... America, America, God shed his grace on thee. 